Transfer is something you learn in one situation that affects how you learn or perform in another situation. Transfer is necessary for all people on a day-to-day -day basis. Without transfer, we would have to learn everything over again through trial and error and find new ways to behave in daily circumstances. Problem solving is a form of transfer. One has to transfer their knowledge and skills they have previously learned to solve a problem. Transfer and problem solving are two important components of educational learning. Teachers hope that the knowledge that is taught can be transferred to real-world situations. Then the child can problem solve effectively. In order to apply transfer, knowledge and information needs to be stored in your long-term memory. This is part of the informational processing theory. This cartoon demonstrates how information can be lost and not stored in your long-term memory. These college students cannot transfer anything from the previous semester to any other semester or to their everyday lives. There are many types of transfer. This video is going to examine one, positive versus negative transfer. Positive transfer is when learning in one situation facilitates learning or performing in another situation. Since understanding and remembering new information is important in positive transfer, meaningful learning and elaboration are two examples that may occur. Meaningful learning is when we transmit new information to the knowledge that is stored in our long-term memory. We can find meaning in that information. Elaboration is a process of learning more than what is presented. The learner receives new information, makes their own interpretations of it, such as drawing conclusions on the information they've already received. Here is an example of positive transfer. Hey Deanna, are you ready to make some cookies for the holidays? I am. Okay, so let's take a look at our recipe. It says here that we need a quarter cup of sugar for our cookies. But we're having a large party, so we probably need to make a double batch. So, I only have a quarter here. What do you think I should do? Well, I remember when I was in school, there were two things that you can do. One of them would be to able to double a recipe. We can use two quarter cups, measuring cup, or we can add the fractions. So I remember that if we add a quarter cup and a quarter cup, it would equal a half a cup. So we might be able to use this, it might be easier. Okay. That sounds like a much better idea. I think I'll use the half cup instead. Here is another example of positive transfer. This is a clip from the TV show Dennis the Menace. Dennis is taking a concept from school called centrifugal force and using it in a different situation. That means what you're putting on the mayor's head must be... Blue. Ow. 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 My hands, oh, they're stuck. Oh. Here, Mr. Cavallini, I'll help you. Mm. Mm. I know something that might work. We learned about it in school. It's called centrifugal force. Don't you mean centrifugal? No, we didn't study that yet. Hang on, Mr. Mayor. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened? It worked. Your hands are no longer stuck to your scalp. That's nice. Negative transfer is when something that is learned in one situation hinders your ability to perform in another situation. This type of transfer can be avoided if differences between two objects or things are stressed and any similarities are not highlighted. These two sentences demonstrate negative transfer with different languages. Notice the placement of the adjective red. In English, it goes before the noun, and in Spanish, it goes after the noun. This will negatively impact one's speech and writing when dealing with different languages. Here is another example of negative transfer. How was your school day today? My day was good. How was yours today? You know what, it was a little difficult because I was teaching a concept in grammar and my kids just really weren't understanding it. The lesson was on subject-verb agreement. I was teaching them that when you have a singular subject, you have to add an S to the verb. When the subject is plural, you don't add an S. 
However, when there are the subjects I and you, they don't follow the rule. They were writing I walks or you walks because both are singular subjects. They were demonstrating negative transfer because they took what they learned in the first part of the lesson and brought it into the second part, but the grammar rules were changed. Here is an example of negative transfer. This is a clip from Happy Gilmore. Notice the way he holds the golf club like a hockey stick and starts a hockey fight with one of the golfing spectators. Hey, kid. Yeah! There you go. Good shot. It's about time. Hey, it is about time. I mean, I just couldn't get the ball in the hole. I wanted to, but I just couldn't do it. That was when I